On January 1, 2022, actually on New Year's Day, Dr. Berg uploaded a video which he called This is probably the most important video I have ever made concerning your health. If you don't know Dr. Berg, he has most probably the most videos on YouTube about any health-related topics and he is probably the most famous health expert on YouTube. What happened, that Dr. Berg made such a profound statement? Well, Dr. Berg had just discovered melatonin and what it can do for you. Have a look. This topic is probably one of the most important videos that I will ever do regarding your health. I didn't know what to call it, so I titled it, the most important antioxidant is melatonin, not glutathione. But this information is completely brand new. You've never heard this before, and it's important information. In the following, he explains why he made such a profound statement. We like this explanation and we said this on our channel as well. What are the most common reasons of death? One heart disease. Two cancer. Three metabolic issues. And what do all three have in common? They develop on a malfunction of your mitochondria within your cells. Have a look. And so people, um, they want to live as long as possible. Uh, why do people die? Well, the great majority of people die because of heart disease. That's the first cause of why people die. The second cause is cancer. And the third reason why people die is related to some metabolic illness. It could be diabetes, it could be Alzheimer's. It really depends on what country you live in, but typically it's related to some metabolic underlying cause. And what's common about all these reasons why people die is that they're all mitochondrial diseases. In other words, there's some type of dysfunction that destroys the mitochondria. And with cancer, it originates in the mitochondria, the mitochondria become damaged, and then that cell then converts over into a cancer cell. Now with heart disease, we have a lot of free radical damage, whether the person's on a high carb diet or they're a smoker or they have a lot of oxidative stress. And then we create this irritation or inflammation in the inner arteries, but that damage is being created in the mitochondria. And so if you really look at the essence of where the problem is, we're getting this excess of oxidative stress and free radical damage. Normally, our body is supposed to protect against that, okay? And the way that it protects against that is through the antioxidant networks. There's certain enzymes that act as antioxidants, one being glutathione. It's considered the most important antioxidant. But guess what? Melatonin is even more powerful and more effective because melatonin is not only an antioxidant, it triggers other antioxidant networks, including glutathione. This brings us to this man. His name is Dr. Edinger. He uses melatonin in high dosages to treat many diseases as he states. There is nothing it cannot do. He says, melatonin in high dosages is not only the most powerful antioxidant, but it is the only thing on earth that can not only protect your mitochondria but can create new mitochondria and discharge old ones. This leads to a repair in your DNA. Melatonin has so many different positive effects. Um, in the science of aging we know that it is very important that you can grow many new mitochondria which are the powerhouses of your cells. In fact, they do have the power to repair your DNA. At the same time, we have to take care that old mitochondria which stick therein, that they can be turned off. From an energetic point of view, they are catastrophic for us. The only system that can turn off those old mitochondria is melatonin. That is where the magic of melatonin already starts to kick in. Here's the big one I wanted to almost spend the last few minutes with, the melatonin. Melatonin is completely misunderstood and underrated. Melatonin is the principal antioxidant used in the brain and in the central nervous system. It is not glutathione. Yeah, it's not all the antioxidants that people talk about. It is melatonin. And melatonin is produced in every cell in the body, but in the brain the predominant place is the pineal gland. 
but our whole gut microbiome when it's healthy produces about 400 to 4,000 times more uh, melatonin than the brain does, but it does it at noontime. And so there is a German researcher who heals pretty much any neurological disease just with one tool, and that is melatonin. But this is not two or three milligrams. This is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, up to 6,000 milligrams. The ALS, we give 6,000. Uh, with most the common, the children get 80 milligrams. That's a working dose. Most adults need a lasting dose of about 300. It's the anti-aging tool for the older folks here. I, I notice a few of you are over 60, which I'm always happy. What is the takeaway of this? We think that it makes perfect sense to get the antioxidant protection of the strongest antioxidant there is, namely melatonin. It is nice that Dr. Berg discovered melatonin in January 2022 and we highly appreciate his contribution. But it is not brand new information. Dr. Edinger has been using high dosages of melatonin 300 mg in his clinic in Germany for many years already. Dr. Berg also talks about the 3 mg melatonin sleeping aid which gives a false impression. The dosage must be much higher, as the experts agree. For anti-aging and activation of the pineal gland it is 300 mg as recommended by Dr. Edinger and Dr. Klinghart. On top of that it must be taken either transdermal as a plaster or as a suppository. It cannot be taken orally because the first pass effect of the liver will destroy it. The 3 mg sleeping melatonin does basically nothing, except it lets you fall asleep more easily. Don't expect anything more than that. There is no upregulation of cells and no activation of the pineal gland too with 3 mg melatonin. In other videos we have shown you, that even the NIH, PubMed or any researcher on this topic, they work with high dosages, up to 800 mg a day. Not convinced yet that melatonin is better than glutathione as antioxidant? Then watch our next video too, what the NIH and PubMed and other researchers say on this topic. A link to Dr. Berg's video in full you will find in the description below. Also a link to Dr. Klinghart and Dr. Edinger. If you liked the video and found the content useful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm.